What's going on everyone, CM Show over here and welcome back to another video. Today we are back at it again with some gaming news and we have a ton to talk about today. Unlike last week when we had absolutely nothing to talk about, but we have some awesome topics today. Some of them are even pretty hefty. Let's get into it. Our first topic is coming from Valve. They just rolled out some sort of new... Uh, review system on Steam where you can filter the reviews and stuff like that and a lot of people hate it Valve recently posted an update regarding the situation and they said and I quote one frequent piece of feedback we've heard regarding the recent changes is that it has become more difficult to find and read the helpful articulate reviews written by customers that obtain the game outside of Steam in other words, apparently a lot of people got really pissed off that they couldn't get the 100% best reviews from everybody in the community, even if they got the game off of Steam. And by off of Steam, I mean on another website, for example, like G2A. Valve, don't be like Niantic Labs and freaking No Man's Sky. Listen to the community. It seems like you guys have, considering you guys have changed something within like a day after you changed it the original time. But, you know, just just listen to the community. Our next topic is huge, and it's coming from Battlefield tomorrow. In other words, today, the day you are watching this video, the Battlefield 1 campaign trailer releases. This article from GameSpot says you can see a teaser right now, and the teaser is actually right off of Battlefield's Twitter. Make sure you guys go check that out. I will put a link in the description for you guys. Speaking of Battlefield 1, you guys are not going to believe this. Battlefield 1 unveiled the maps and game modes for the official release of Battlefield 1. You guys remember those map leaks that we talked about on Gaming News like, I don't know, about three weeks ago when the game first came out? Well, guess what? They were true! Literally every single map listed on that picture, even the names, 100% true. The descriptions even match the pictures flawlessly. So, uh, whoever leaked that info originally is probably fired by now. Our next topic is coming from Blizzard and I did not see this coming at all. I don't think anyone saw this coming at all. But Blizzard is ditching the name of Battle.net. They're renaming Battle.net to Blizzard Tech. Don't ask me why, but they are. This article says, and I quote, Blizzard's online gaming service Battle.net debuted in 1996, a full 17 years ago before Steam sprang to life. The article also goes on to say that apparently this change should have happened years ago. By years ago, they mean literally like 5 to 10 years ago. Apparently, Battle.net isn't what Blizzard has been wanting to be called the past, like, decade. And now they're changing their name to Blizzard Tech. Our next topic is huge, and it is coming from Twitter. A lot of major companies are looking to buy Twitter. By the way, Twitter is worth $13.2 billion. Microsoft is looking to buy Twitter for a whopping $26 plus billion. Yes, Microsoft is offering to buy Twitter for double what it is even worth. Our next topic is coming from Firewatch. Other than a game being released, they're making a movie. I don't know if this is a full-fledged movie or not, but the game is supposedly being made into a feature film. Our next topic is coming from Overwatch, and apparently in November, Symmetra is finally getting a buff. Apparently no one was playing Symmetra because, you know, she wasn't really buffed in the first place. It was kind of a neglected character. But now, according to Jimmy Kaplan at least, Symmetrica is a hero who's on your list now. In other words, I think he has a little bit of insider, probably specifically from an even more far out PTR. But he says that Symmetra is gonna be great. 
Our next and final topic is coming from Star Wars Battlefront, and this is absolutely hilarious. According to GameSpot, Star Wars Battlefront is being discounted for not even $18. Now you see, the funny part about this is that Star Wars Battlefront is the newest Star Wars franchise game, so it should not be discounted for that reason. And it just came out with its either third or fourth expansion six days ago. So interesting to see how much an open beta can ruin a game. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video of gaming news, everyone. Make sure you guys slap a like if you guys are liking gaming news every Tuesday. Comment down below what you think about everything we talked about today, especially Battlefield 1 and Star Wars Battle from. Make sure you guys let me know about all that in the comments. Share this video with your friends because I'm desperate for subscribers and I just saw OBS freeze again. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. My name is Steve Michelle Boy and I'll catch you guys tomorrow in another video. And until then, peace. Adios. Does anyone have any suggestions for new recording software? <laughs>